Pilgrim. Yes, Grace yes, and yes. Peace. Grace and peace. Grace and, Grace and peace. peace. Good evening. Come on, come on, come on. We up in here. <laughs> What's up, y'all? How y'all doing tonight? Go ahead and type it in the comments. Grace and peace. Yes. We're so excited. It is Thursday night. Thursday night. Hallelujah. We've Hallelujah. been going strong every night, every day. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I've been blessed by everything that's been going on in convocation. I Absolutely. need to see some hearts on come the on, screen. Come on, put them in there. Likes, put them in there. Likes, whatever you got. Watching so you. That way, I'm watching you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to know that you've been enjoying convocation, too. Pastor, you've it's, been enjoying convocation? I've been enjoying convocation. It has been a glorious time. We Absolutely. are in Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New this York. is the home of Pilgrim Assemblies International. And we have people from all over the world literally here with us in person and that's watching online. So do me a favor. Drop down your city and state right now move. in the comment section so we can Let's call go. some Let's of these go. out. Pastor Bigger, before we go further, this suit, man of God. Here we go again. So <laughs> last night we had this gold pin. So oh. we're not going to mess with him tonight. We right. thank God for the Episcopal. Vicar. Episcopal it's, vicar. It is, it is all about. It, yes. I don't. I don't. No disrespect. But can we get into this right here? Yeah. That, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> glory to God. Glory to God. That's the glory that's on us. But listen, I'm just so excited. Come on, Pastor. Tell us how it's been for you. So, so today, Bishop Anthony Gilliard at 12 noon. Don't start. Was absolutely don't start. phenomenal. Let me tell you something. If after the service, to, well, no, you can't do that because it's going to be a long night tonight. But yes. tomorrow morning on your way to work or whatever you're yes. doing, you need to go and watch the playback of the 12 noon service Absolutely. with Bishop Anthony Gilliard. He came through here with a mighty fire. And it was just, it's unexplainable. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. amazing. We got all these people in here. Let's call them out. Come on. We got uh, Memphis, Tennessee in here. Where, what y'all see? Yes, Milwaukee, got, uh, Wisconsin. Birmingham, Alabama. Come on, Marco, Birmingham. what's up? That's what's up? That's where uh, Pastor's from. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Los Angeles, California is in the house. Chicago, Illinois. Who else is yes, up in we here? Got Houston, Texas, Glendale, you. Arizona. Yeah. We got Jamaica in the house. Come, Come on, send me some on, Jamaica. Tail. This, is an in this is an international international church. Oh my Come God, on. we have so many amazing people. Richmond, Virginia is in Come the on, building. Oh my God, Richmond. Richmond. It, 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 it was so amazing just to see all of the pastors from all over the United States come together. It's Absolutely, we got Juliet, uh, Illinois. Come we on, we got the Bronx, New York. Come on over to the yes. to, the, to, to Brooklyn. Just Come on, just make it. Just Come on, it. Louisiana. Somebody else from California. Yes. All right, y'all. In here, all right. Kelly in the house. Y'all, y'all invite, <laughs> tag, and share, and all that stuff. Yes. All right, let people in the room. Make sure you share. This is what I want everybody to do. I want everyone to share right now. After you share it, drop down in the comment section and say, "Pastor, uh, I shared it." It's. I'm thinking I'm at my church. Praise God. That's what yeah. I say at Life City Church. This is our church. This is our church. And right. let me tell you, we have an amazing father. Yes. yes. I'm the Archbishop yes. William Hudson III. Come yes. on, make some noise for our Come on, y'all put it in the comment comments. section. Hallelujah. We Thank love God. him. Great oh, leader. my God. Just the, the level of vision that he has for our Reformation, yeah. the level of freshness. He always is coming with something new, yeah. something yeah. fresh. And as soon as I got into Pilgrim, oh, my God, it was just like an instant connection on uh, yeah. how Archbishop is. Amazing. And listen, if you're not covered, if you don't have Ooh, someone or something that you can submit your gift to, every leader needs a leader, yes. whether that's a ministry, whether you're a senior pastor of a church, yes. whatever it is, you need to make sure that you have a man of God that can yes. speak into your life, uh, that can strengthen you, that can broaden your horizons, cause you to see things in yep. a different light. And let me just tell you, Pilgrim Assemblies International is a place that it will that you you can submit your gift to and that you yes. will see uh, the benefits and blessings from. So if you want to know anything about Pilgrim, you can go visit our landing page at PilgrimPAI.org. All right? Yes. PilgrimPAI.org. Get all the information. All the information. Listen, and even for tonight, I'm excited because you can find on our, our landing page some more information about what's happening tonight. Yes. Pastor Leon says, or uh, Pastor Bigham said it's going to be a long night because yes. we're going to be in church Literally all night, all Listen, night till tomorrow. Night. You can go ahead and get your Red Bulls, and that's that's your rock star. rock star. I need a rock star. Get your coffee. Go to Starbucks before they close because we are rocking all night Let, long. We're rocking Listen, all night long, and I need over. a rock star. We're hey, taking over. Hey, hey, if there's anybody that's watching in the Holy long. Ghost and you're on hey, your way down here, you want to get past the Leon and Rockstar, <laughs> we steady, appreciate you. Hey, but 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 steady, wait wait wait, past the Episcopal Vicar designate <laughs> Tory Perry. Oh, Can we talk about? Our brother, Pastor Samar Bigham, on that inspirational, oh, inspirational man. message man. that he preached. 
yesterday. I am blown away. This man <laughs> took 10 minutes to take the whole church the up whole last night. Church. We love to God it. be the glory. We to God be the glory. I'm grateful. Love. And listen, that's the thing uh, about this organization. We support our own. Yes. Uh, and we give our own platforms and, and space to be able to do what it is that God has called Absolutely. them to do. Yes. This is not a selfish organization. No. Uh, each and every person is just as important as the other. Yes. Uh, and that, that's the beauty about Pilgrim Assemblies. Oh, I my love God. It, man. And we're on the move. Pilgrim is yes. on the move. Come on. And we are not stopping anytime soon. As uh, Pastor Leon said, Archbishop is a man of valor. He's yes. constantly yes. coming up with new yes. things, yes. great things. I don't know what he has in store for tomorrow, but we are praying for our Archbishop to yes. tonight yes, and tomorrow. Yes, sir. Um, and yes, that God sir. would speak through him on tomorrow. On official day, we get to hear from our spiritual father. Yes. I'm so excited. Oh, yes. There's consecration going on tomorrow Absolutely. as well. Yep. Elevation. But then also tonight, Bishop Todd Hall Woo! is in the building. He's in the building. Yeah. Listen, he is here. It's he's gonna be ready. a night. Man, oh he's my gonna God. level this place. Absolutely. New York, get ready. He yeah. is here and he is ready with fire to preach the word of God, prophesy. You know, yes. we're gonna praise. We are next. That's what he's gonna say. I promise you. He's gonna say, We're next. <laughs> Come on. Come on, oh my God. Go over to God. And Pastor Perry, <laughs> this year has been an amazing year because throughout our day sessions and morning sessions, yeah. we had the youth. Listen, Come, let's all plug the youth. People, yes. I didn't yes. see you in youth church, oh, but get that's on. all right. Next year. <laughs> yeah. Look at your neighbor and say next year next in the comments. Year. Yes. You need to be at oh, Holy Lord. Convocation and all the other conventions Absolutely. that we're having this year Absolutely. because the youth department is on the move. Absolutely. We had an awesome time. We had some great speakers. We had some awesome games. We gave out plenty of prizes and yes. gifts. I think I've given away over $200 in gift Ooh, cards already. I should have been in there. And then right. tonight, we, right. about that. <laughs> I need that for myself. Right. Praise God. <laughs> However, but listen, we got some more stuff going on tonight in our late night service for our yes. youth and young adults. But the youth are on fire. We're Amen. on the move and God is blessing our youth. And they were even blessed through the word wow. and the worship. Our praise team led them so well in worship today. We thank God for our national music department. Yes. And even just yes. in the yes. service, the main service, the music has been just wonderful. Off the Amazing. chain. Amazing. There's crazy. no music department like Pilgrim Assemblies because we come up with a song of the Lord on the spot. On the spot. It's a okay. new song every service. You say microphone, we microphone, micro right. I mean, it's, it's right. going crazy. Prophetic Listen, worship in here. Off the chain. And I'm just so excited. Not only is our youth, hallelujah, um, department is growing, but also our young adult department is Listen, growing. Listen, young yes. adults. Oh, yes. my yes. Lord. Yes. So, so first of all, we understand that Pastor Perry, he is over our youth department, yeah. and he is doing an amazing, amazing job. And I just got the new, I, I love you, my brother. <laughs> That's my brother, too, brother right there. <laughs> Um, and for our young adult, I just got the assignment that I am over the young adult department, your Ooh. new young adult director, international. International. Inter Come on, we in Jamaica. I said, we Jamaica. saw it. We just We're said there. it. So I'm just excited about the future. Next year, our young adult department is going up, 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 up. And throughout the year of 2022, you will be seeing some more information. So if you are in the age range of 19 to 35, Pilgrim Assemblies International has a place for you. What's the age range for the youth? Five to 18. Five, Five to 18. To and listen, 18. I even going to throw this in as a, a as a bonus, we're getting ready to also launch our nursery for our Ooh. infants all the way up I can bring my four. daughter? Yes, you can bring oh, Peyton. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, we Lord. We want to have something for every yes. ministry, for every age bracket. And so, Amen. listen, we are moving with grace and we're moving with momentum. And I'm just glad to be a part of Pilgrim. Me too. Amen. I'm glad about what God is about to do tonight, as he's already been doing throughout the rest of this uh, week. And God is just getting the glory, man. He's getting the glory. All the glory. Again, go visit that landing page. Please. Pilgrim, P A. Dot org. Invite, tag, yes. and share. PilgrimPAI.org. Invite, tag, and share. Get some more people in the room. It's only 245 of you all. Where are yes. the rest of you? You need yes. to get into church. Come and we want to say what's time. up to YouTube, too, because we got some oh, YouTube yeah. on here. What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? We always forgetting about y'all. That's messed Don't up, but that, what's I up? I forget about y'all. <laughs> I didn't forget. <laughs> oh God! But listen, I, YouTube is a mature crowd. Y'all don't want right. to see the comments. Y'all just want to see the video. That's right. That's <laughs> but right. we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Everybody on Archbishop's page, yes. on Pilgrim's page, YouTube. Listen, we all just need to come together and share because wherever yeah. you are, God is getting ready to He's move do in it. your house, Absolutely. in your car, in your bathtub, whatever you're doing. In your bathtub. <laughs> in listen, your bathtub. Get it how you can. But a I mighty river. <laughs> A mighty river. I was about to he say something, it. but that just made me think about that. I was going to tell you to take a selfie wherever you are Not and then all. do the hashtag of the conference, of Let's the convocation. Yes. But don't do it. Just, just 
write something and then use our hashtag. Leon, what's the press? Any, uh, Leon, what's our hashtag? Anything that you see on uh, live, our hashtag is P A I H C twenty two. Uh-huh. All right, yes. P A I H C twenty two. So or a pil- hashtag Pilgrim Proud. Yeah, Pilgrim, Pilgrim, Proud. Pilgrim Proud. Proud. That always works. That's Absolutely, right. it yeah. does. Absolutely, it does. So, y'all Listen, we're, excited. Doing we're excited. We're excited. It's convocation. It's con- What's and been the highlight of convocation for you so far? Okay, I, can, okay. I'm going to give a spiritual answer, but I, I got to give a fleshy <laughs> answer. Can I give a fleshy answer? I'm just come so on, sorry. Come on, oh, my goodness. The, I'm no, no, don't, don't be scared. Let me turn around. Just the amazing <laughs> outfits. The Saints have come with the Sunday's best they on. Sunday's best. Our first lady... Pastor Andrea Hudson, she has been coming to convocation Listen, with it. Yes, she had a whole absolutely. Burberry outfit on today. A Listen, whole one. The top not, and the oh, pants. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, All of it. Listen, I, I love, love her, it. but also it's just and let's been, not let's thank God for the Burberry glasses. Can, can you can you get the God, can we get the Burberry. side angle? Come yeah, on. Yeah, I'm okay, telling you, this you, is Jesus. a dressing church. Thank okay. You, if you can't dress, it's this is not the church for you. No, I'm just kidding. But also my last thing I would say is the spiritual connection and brotherhood that yeah, we yeah, have yeah. as a fellowship. Yeah. When we come together at Pilgrim, it's like a family reunion because we are all are going back to our individual states, but when we come together, it is a brotherhood, a sisterhood that is like no other. Seriously, Absolutely. seriously. I mean, from the pastors on down, we are all connected. There's nobody who's greater than anyone. Our archbishop will take his time and speak to everybody. Everybody. The first and second assistant. Nobody's untouchable. Yeah. Um, and I'm just grateful that the shepherds always smell like the sheep and pilgrim. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Come on, watch it. So Episcopal so vicar designate. Whoa. <laughs> I've been in convocation. <laughs> Come on, one more but, time for uh, the people. That Listen, glory on the you. The shepherd has to smell like the sheep. You got to That's smell right. like You got to work with them. And hmm. that is what you smell like? What what's your like the sheep? <laughs> Come on! Right. Yes. But, Pastor, yeah. what's been your favorite part? Oh, man, it's been so many. Uh, I think that this afternoon, though, had, oh, has topped it for Man, me. I got to go back and watch it. Yes. This afternoon yes. topped Pastor it Pastor was with, Pastor Perry was with the youth, but it was I awesome. missed yeah, it. Yeah, uh, the, the, shame. yeah. Unexplainable. Yeah. Unexplainable. You got to watch it. <laughs> That's, that's it. That's, that's all we're going to say yeah. so Listen, that you go watch it. We got so many pastors and there's so many members who are in the comment section. Do me a favor. Shout out your yeah. church and your pastor yeah. Yeah. right now yeah. in the yeah. comment yeah. section. Tag them. Show them some love. We want to know who you are under. Don't tell me who you're over until you tell us who you're under. Ah. So I want oh, you I to go to uh, they, and they, I want mm. you to tag them in the comment and be proud of it. Come on. Your pastor. Let your pastor know. And if <laughs> your pastor is not a part of Pilgrim, send this video to them in a DM right and say, now. listen, you got to be a part Why of this amazing. Part of this? Why are we not? We gotta be. We got We got to do better. We got to come we gotta up. Do better. <laughs> Jessica <laughs> come on. Love, I see you. This is nothing to what we're talking about. Can you, Grace and Peace, would the man of God in the black, burgundy, and red care to share where he got that suit from? That oh, is, that's God you. Bless your heart. Uh, you would I, see that just, comment. You know, the Holy I, Ghost I, gave I, it to He gave it. He gave it to me. The Holy Ghost dropped it on heaven. you. Let me tell you something. <laughs> we and, and we got uh, we got Prime where this came from too. So, but it didn't come from Amazon. God bless you tonight. My, oh. It's a mystery now. So you, the say, God's gonna reveal it's it to nice. you. Just pray New, about New it. New Zion Temple is here. Glory New Zion, God. Zion. come hey, on. New Zion Temple, the glory Bishop zone. Jacob. Bishop Brandon Jacob, <laughs> and he's preaching tonight. He's preaching Listen, tonight. Eleven p.m. My big brother, Bishop Brandon Jacobs, My is going to do his thing. Father yes, level yes. We got Bishop uh, Lamario Looney and yes, Lady sir. Brenda Looney. Okay, from, okay. Um, Berean, well, how you say that? Berean. Yeah, Berean. Berean. We yeah. see y'all Praise in the God. comments section. We see you. Come, Come on. on. Who you see, Pastor Leon? We got... Bishop, Pastor Bishop Brian Allen mm-hmm. is in the comment section. Come we thank on, God for his members. God yes. It. Amen. I see some Life City Church members in the comment section. Life City God bless you. Yes. Yes. We have so many people uh, that are Pastor in the Matt comment Matt Blumenberg, uh, the Pastor Goat Matt, Church Goat of Church. Chicago. That's yes. our brother. Goat Church. Life Power City House. Church. Yes, Life, Life City, City Church is in here. We got Pastor Powerhouse Leon. Chicago is in, you. and I believe that they're watching a live. Uh, they're watching yeah, us live yes, in person. Yes, 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 yes. We got I see yes. Okay. Bishop Desinet, uh Pastor Deborah Crow Pilgrim Church. Mm-hmm. Amen. You're supposed to be here, That's man right, of God. Where you at? Yes. <laughs> 
Yes. And we thank God for all of you. Bishop McLean, our Bishop yes. of Protocol, we Bishop see you. Bishop Ed Rocket. Yes. 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 Greater Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church. All right. We love to see it. Y'all are representing. Here. So we are just so thankful for all of you all that have come to watch us virtually. The pandemic, uh, although that it was a rough thing in the beginning, it has literally been uh, the beginning of something great that I really believe that God is doing. And God is using Pilgrim Assemblies International yeah. to be the person, to be the, to the, the vehicle in order to get us forward and push us to our next level. So I'm Absolutely. just so excited. Absolutely. Yeah. And you need to be moving with us. All right. Yes. You need to be moving Move with, with us. us. Move with us. Is. Move with us. Move Get on board us. and move with us. God has graced uh, this organization yes. uh, with the favor of momentum, momentum. Uh, and the favor of access. Yes. So so get on, Thank get on board. Lord. And and what God does for the head goes and flows Come down on. to the body. So what yeah. he's doing through our archbishop, oh, uh, yes. the grace, the favor you, uh, that has been released to him Hallelujah. has trickled down to us, not just the pastors yes. and the bishops, but trickled down to the very laity of the church. You need to get on board so Come that on. you can move to your next place Absolutely. in God. Pilgrim AI. Dot org. Connect with us That's right now. That's the landing page. It's Pilgrim, period. Listen, period. <laughs> period okay? Y'all type that in the comment the section. Hashtag. Pilgrim, period. period. All right, it's the fellowship for me. It's, 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 it really is. It's the fellowship. <laughs> it's the fellowship <laughs> for me. Day. I'm just All so excited. Day. Tomorrow, we are consecrating some bishops. Some yes, bishops God. elect, uh, some designated bishops, some designated yeah. Episcopal vicars. Pastor uh, Tory Perry is one among yes, the we're excited Episcopal about vicars that, that will be. No, bishop. Uh, no not, you, come on, bishop. It's come on, on you. It's on, it's on your life. Hey, it's so listen, head. we're just excited about the growth, the elevation, the expansion yeah. of our great fellowship. And it's just a beauty to see pastors serving. Yes. That's what Pilgrim yes, is all about, about, is listen. us serving. We are ushers when we come here. That's right. Whatever we're, we're we need to do. Altar. That's right. We we do right. whatever. Worship, whatever. And you know why we're doing that? Because we have a leader that does that. Yeah. That's right. You don't see Levi presiders, example. too many presiders literally doing whatever needs to be done yes, uh, to show us and be that example. So I'm just excited about what God is doing. That's right. This is our church. So we do what is necessary yes. to make this sure our that our church. church looks good. Amen. And if you're looking for a church, Come on. Pilgrim Assemblies International is the place. Yes. But we're also on Instagram. Make sure y'all follow us on Instagram good. at Pilgrim Assemblies International. Make sure you like all of that stuff share with some people and went throughout the night even if you're at home virtually if you catching the holy ghost and you dancing you get it video it put something uh on facebook in a status and use our hashtag Listen, oh our sister you. is online god bless you uh sister christian god bless you tonight i be think on your way. yeah sister oh, christian are yes. you here are you are you coming we you are be here. yes I don't know oh how to say your God. last name, but Lady McClinnis. McClinnis. Yeah, God bless you, sweetheart. We love you, and I can't uh, we, wait we to appreciate see her. you. Yes. yes, yes, yes. I saw Pastor Vincent Bohannon. Someone shouting out Pastor Bohannon. Pastor Bohannon. Uh, yes, he's yes. going to be leading tonight, tonight. In, as our musical. He's not a guest, but he's our musical um, yes. uh, feature presentation tonight. And he's going to take us up with Bishop Brandon Jacobs. Now, yes. listen, you already yes. know how SOV is, and you know how Pastor Bohannon is. In oh, addition yes. to Bishop Jacobs, yes. this is going to be Panama. It's yeah, about late to night be crazy. And 11 p.m. is going to be crazy. And Pastor Bohannon, he actually has service right here in the very place that we are worshiping each and every Sunday. Yeah. So that's just an amazing on how people who the world loves, their home their is home. Pilgrim Assembly. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes. Come on. So remember this Pilgrim period, all right? It's Take Pilgrim period. Take that with period. you for the rest of the that's night. That's what it is. It's Pilgrim <laughs> period. Where, Use where are you going, hashtag, Pilgrim period? That's, that's, uh, that's what and, it is. And, Let's just go up in the glory of God on tonight. Up let's, in the glory of God. So if you're on your way and you are coming, make sure you come, get, find you a park. New, now, New York traffic is so different than California. Man, I'm from California. Different. I've been late every day. I, I, you need the Holy Ghost to really drive in <laughs> Brooklyn, New York. It's and that's how I know I really got it because I was driving. I'm survived. I'm here. Listen, so God listen, is God, God, is, God is with us. Man. So if you are on your way, make sure you are on your way. And we want to honor all of our first ladies that's yes. been here ladies. each yes. and every yes. night yes. Oh, God bless yeah. you. oh now these gentlemen right here yeah, thank no, you no, y'all no, let no, me no, do my no. work these gentlemen praise god if there's some first ladies that got glory oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Listen, oh lord right come on oh, thank god. you to be light skin this is gonna be pilgrim mingo the devil <laughs> is alive no hallelujah we're here we're here just let we're her be here. light skin <laughs> no but pilgrim, something is happening something is happening uh tonight well this week tomorrow uh that is
is history for yes. Pilgrim, yeah, and yeah. we are yes. consecrating the first female oh, bishops yes. uh, in the history of the this Pilgrim friendship. Assemblies yes. International. Yeah. Um, so we thank God for that. Uh, listen, we're not a, re a Reformation uh, yes. organization, fellowship, whatever you want to call us, uh, that think women's place is just to sit in their seats. Let me tell you. Um, but but they serve in ministry with oh, us, yeah. uh, oh, higher yeah. in ministry. They are part of yes. executive board, all of that. They have we a voice that is heard. So we're excited about that. So yeah. we shout out Pastor Mabel Allen, Bishop Desmond yes. Mabel yes. Yes. Allen, yes. Yes. Bishop Desmond De De Deborah Crow, yes. amen. They both are being elevated on tomorrow, making history yes. in our 32 years as an established reformation. Yes. And yes. that's just another example of how we are on the move. On the move. Hey, man, we're, we're setting a trend, y'all. We're yeah. setting a trend. And we're standing on a solid foundation. Solid. And I thank God for the founder, Come Archbishop on, Roy Ooh. Brown. Yes, yes. Oh my yes. God, the the foundation that he remember. laid, yes. that he laid for us, that now our presiding prelate, Archbishop William Hudson III, is now taking to another level. So God is good. God is good. God is good. God is, good. God is, good. God is, good. God is great. All of that good, good, good <laughs> stuff. All right. Uh, Make so, sure you get here. So again, let's recap. Tonight, yeah. uh, Prophet Todd Hall Todd is going to be here. He's already here in the building, I believe. In three minutes. Uh, so go we're up. going into worship yes. uh, in just a few moments with praise and worship. So y'all want to get some more people, text them and tell yes. them y'all need to get on Facebook, get on Come YouTube, on. Uh, yes, and yes, get blessed. You can't receive from God. God, if you're not in position, come on. Huh? The Lord it's wants the to speak. Come on. It's the the, the, the it's Lord the wants to speak to you, but if you're not in the right place, you won't be able to hear. That's right. All right. You can't say, I didn't get a word from God if you're not where He's speaking. All yeah. right. And He's going to be speaking here tonight. So find somebody, tell them if you need to hear from God, if you yes. need some direction, come, on in the room. come to the room or either get on Facebook, yes. get on YouTube, make your come way to Powerhouse here. Chicago satellite uh, location. Absolutely. Whatever you have to do, wherever you have to go, make sure that you're in position. Listen, to receive from God listen, tonight. We are standing within a few feet of the sanctuary and we can hear the fire already brewing right oh, now. Yes. So you don't, listen, turn your phone on. Ready. Do not disturb. Come on. Do not let anybody interrupt this broadcast because God is going to come in strong right where you are. Yeah. I just need you to send some hearts and lights on the screen right now if you're believing that Absolutely. God is about to meet you right where you are. Yes. Miracles, signs, signs and, and wonders. wonders. That's right. Hallelujah. Right. I got to calm down because I hear the sound listen, in the make sanctuary. Make sure y'all get here. <laughs> It's about to be an amazing time, an amazing experience. Yeah. The glory of the Lord is about to meet us no matter where you are in your house, no matter where you are. Uh, make sure you get in position for worship yes. and really give God your true praise. And I'm just so excited to serve with my brothers and Absolutely. worship. Listen, Absolutely. We're going up. We're going, going up tonight. If one dance, we all dance. Oh, we all don't let our family dance Watch alone. it. We're going to do it. It's already we're in gonna my right foot. We're going to bust a rug, already cut already. a rug. We're going to do it. So I'm just so excited. So listen, get ready. Make sure you share this video yeah. make sure you're commenting share. your spiritual likes and amens and all that stuff god we sees it. it and he's gonna catch it so when you feel god make sure you put in some hearts make sure you're commenting absolutely absolutely so again p at pilgrim ai Dot org get yes. all the information you need for the rest of the for the rest of the week all the itineraries all that stuff so uh we thank god for you and we look forward yes. to seeing let's you go. in the let's worship expert five let's four, go three get up two, off, off your couch let's, let's worship. One. let's go hey. Hallelujah! 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 Come on, pilgrim! Open up your mouth! Open up your mouth! You got one more minute! You got one more minute! One more, one more! You just got one more minute! Uh, somebody wanna get desperate! Somebody wanna get desperate! Touch it with your prayer! Touch it with your worship! Touch it with your praise! Touch, 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 touch. Touch, 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 I guarantee if you touch him, he'll touch your back. I guarantee if you touch him, he'll touch your back. Touch, 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 touch. Everybody touching Jesus. Everybody reaching for Jesus. Everybody touching Jesus. Everybody reaching for him. Come on and reach him. Come on and reach him. Higher, higher. Come on, let's go up. Let's go up. Let's go up. Let's go up. Come on, go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. He said, pursue her. Hallelujah.
you and you shall overtake them and without fail you're going to recover all oh come on somebody this is your time of permission this is your time of recovery this is your time of getting it all back somebody say i want it all back i want it all back i want it all back not just a part but i want everything that god has for me You ought to wave at your neighbor and tell them this is your time of recovery. This is your time of recovery. Come on, tell somebody like you mean it. It's your time, man of God, for recovery. Get it all back. Get it all back. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I wish I had some praying saints. I wish I had some prevailing women. I wish I had somebody who knows how to hold on to the halls of the altar. Hallelujah. And pray until something happens. Pray until something happens. Come on and push in here. Come on and push. 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 Come on and push. God, in the name of Jesus, God, we call on you tonight. You are the great I am. You are the lily of the valley. You are the bright and morning star. You are our Savior. Here we are tonight, God, calling on a man that's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could even survive, that we could ever ask or think. Here we are tonight, God, standing in your presence. Uh, lifting up holy hands uh, giving you glory and praise uh, we thank you tonight oh God uh, how you woke us up this morning uh, allowed us to see a brand new day uh, a day of grace and mercy uh, a day that we never seen before uh, we thank you today God uh, that you gave us our daily bread uh, and here we are tonight uh, calling upon your name uh, here we are tonight uh, calling on Jehovah Jireh uh, calling on Jehovah Jehovah Shalom, uh, calling on Jehovah Nisi, uh, calling on Jehovah Echna, uh, calling on Elohim, uh, calling on the Masiado, uh, nobody like you, uh, and God, uh, as we stand in your presence, uh, we ask for forgiveness on tonight, uh, because we come to understand, uh, we can't present any kind of worship, uh, we can't bring any kind of praise, uh, but God, we come on tonight, uh, with our hands lifted up, uh, with our mouth open huh, with our hearts ready huh, to receive what you have for us huh. Jesus huh, we call on you tonight huh. no other name huh, that's greater than your name huh. we come tonight huh. some need a healing huh. some need deliverance huh. some need salvation huh. and we pray on tonight huh, that you are moved by your spirit huh, moved by your power huh, moved by your anointing huh, and destroy every yoke huh, and set the captive free. Huh. We thank you tonight huh, for your Shekinah glory huh, that rests and abide in this place. Huh. We thank you tonight huh, that even as we come in, huh, we embrace your presence. Huh. We embrace your glory. Huh. We embrace your resurrection power. Huh. In the name of Jesus, huh. touch on tonight huh, from the beginning to the end. Huh. Every scripture, huh, every word, huh, every song, huh, every Every word that go forth, huh, we present it up to you huh, in the name of Jesus. Huh, let our worship huh, be a sweet aroma. Huh, let our praise huh, be a sound huh, that you're pleased with huh, because we want you to look down upon us huh, and to smile huh, upon our worship. Huh, smile huh, upon our praise. Huh, and God, I pray on tonight huh, for every person huh, that's under the sound of my voice. Huh, we thank you tonight. We lift up the man of God. We lift up our archbishop. We lift up every bishop. We lift up every minister. We lift up every leader. We lift up every auxiliary. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you now for what you're getting ready to do. And we thank you now for what you've already done. And we thank you now for what you're doing right now. Here we are. Calling upon your name, no other name that's greater than your name. Here we are. 
falling upon the resurrected one uh, that got up out of the grave. Uh, and because you got up, uh, we are able to lift our hands. Uh, because you got up, uh, we are able to open our mouth. Uh, and because you got up, uh, we are able to give you glory. Uh, we call on you tonight. Uh, because you said in your word uh, that if we call upon you, uh, you will. Uh, you will answer us. Uh, and God will call upon you tonight. Uh, make our request known. Uh, you said to bring it at the altar uh, and to leave it there. Uh, we come on tonight uh, to lay our cares, uh, to cast our cares uh, upon you. Uh, because you said in your word uh, that if we cast our cares, uh, you will, uh, you will, uh, you will. Uh, and here we are tonight, Lord, uh, laying it at the altar, uh, coming to the threshing floor uh, with everything that we got, uh, everything that we are, uh, and everything that we're not. Uh, do it tonight, God. Uh, do it tonight, God. Uh, heal, Lord. Uh, save, Lord. Uh, deliver, Lord. Uh, we'll give you glory. 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 Uh, we'll give you honor. Uh, and we'll give you praise. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Uh, you said in your word uh, that if I call upon you, uh, you will answer. Uh, you said in your word uh, that if my people uh, who are called by my name uh, will humble themselves and pray uh, and seek my pay, uh, turn uh, from their wicked way. Uh, you are here from heaven uh, and you heal the land. Uh, here we are tonight, Lord. Uh, our land need healing. Uh, our churches need healing. Uh, our city need healing. Uh, we your people, uh, we need healing. Uh, heal, Lord. 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 Uh, in the name of Jesus. 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 Uh, we seal it. Uh, it's done. Uh, we seal it. Uh, it's done. Uh, we seal it. Uh, it's done. Uh, we seal it. Uh, and it's done. Uh, amen. Well, if you know that it's done, you ought to open your mouth and give him a praise. Come on, pilgrim. Open your mouth. Lift your voice and give him glory. Somebody give him an it's done praise. Somebody give him an it's done praise. Just look at your neighbor and tell him, neighbor, it is so. Go look at your other neighbor, tell them, neighbor, tell them it is so, and tell them so it is, and if you believe it, open your mouth and give them glory, come on, pilgrim, come on, pilgrim, hallelujah, I want you to just give them glory, wherever you are, just break out of the praise, wherever you are. Wherever you are, just break out of the place. Come on. Come on. I don't see y'all breaking out. You still kind of stiff. I said break. Move your arms. Move your legs. Stretch them. Praise them. What was mighty acts? Praise them. What was excellent greatness? Praise them. Because it kept you from a deadly disease. Praise Him because it kept you from the noise of pestilence. Praise Him because He woke you up this morning. I'm giving you some real simple reason. Praise Him because He's God. I want you to look up to heaven and say, this one is just because you're God. Just because you're holy. Just because you're kind. Hey. Somebody don't shout that up higher. Open your mouth and give them glory. I'm waiting on you, pilgrim. Let's go up together. Let's go all the way up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
Look at your name and say, we're going all the way up. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Anybody know God is good? Listen, that was real Pentecostal. Now we're going to go to the Caribbean. Are y'all ready? Look at y'all Pentecostals. I need y'all to get ready. Shake it off a little bit. And let's go to the islands. Y'all ready? You can do a little dance. It's okay. Here we go. One, two, three. Everybody just dance now. Let me see you dance. Praise him. Y'all don't help me. Listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God is 
Jehovah. I got a question for you, pilgrim. Who has the final say? Oh, yeah. Jehovah has the final say. And no matter what the doctors say, oh my. Jehovah has the final say. And no matter what the people say about me. Jehovah has the final say. Hey, who has the final say? Jehovah what do you do? Turn around, pilgrim. Makes her way. Makes her way when there is no way. Jehovah. Jehovah has the final say. I got a question. Who has the final say? Hey. Jehovah has the final say. Listen. Who has the final say? Who said that? Jehovah.
them and say, So you are my God. You are my God. Oh, yeah. You are, you are my, my God. 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 Tell them you are my God. You are you my God. Oh, yes, you are. You, you are, are my God. God. Come on, tell them you are my God. You yeah, you are, you, you are, are my God. God. Oh, oh, oh. You are my Real big church, you are, you, you are my God. God. Somebody in the child, you are my God. You are my God. Yeah. Somebody tell them I worship you because you are my God and King. Somebody give him the glow. Oh, come on and lift your hands and worship right here. Come on, begin to open up your mouth and just tell God who he is. That's what worship is about. It's not asking of anything but telling God who he is to you. Oh, come on and open up your mouth right here. Let's lift up worship all over the sanctuary. God, we believe you. We trust you. We know you to be our healer, our redeemer, our deliverer. Oh, God, we thank you that you're the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And tonight, Father, it's all about you. Come on, tonight, Father, it's all about you. It's all about what you want to do for us. So, Father, we lay in expectation of your glory, Jesus. the world bow down and say you are God every man will bow down and say you are king so let's start right now why would we wait king of glory I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. Oh, King of glory, fill this place. Just want to be with you, yeah. I just want to be with you. Everybody sing. Yes, the world will bow down.
feet of the master. Just one I want to sit at the feet of the master.
You all can have your seats in the sanctuary. Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. First and foremost, they say that good leadership is a blessing and Pilgrim Assemblies International is blessed to have great leadership. Amen. But there's a few things that I found out that leadership is not just about destination, it's about maturation. It's not just about where you're going, it's about how you're growing. So do me a favor, can you help me honor our presiding bishop, Archbishop William Hudson III. And while we're praising God for our leader, let's praise God for his wonderful wife, our international first lady, Pastor Andrea Hudson. And to our first and second presiding bishop, Archbishop Shorts, Archbishop Hopkins, we thank you, we honor you men of God. And to the pastor of this particular church, our very own Bishop Desnick DeBoer Crow, we love you. Hallelujah. For those that are tuning in on Facebook Live, do me a favor, please like and share this. Please like and share this. Do me a favor, go ahead and take your seats, take your seats. We're going to be here for a while, and it is great, it is great. It is great. When we think about leadership, when we think about leadership, I'm reminded of a great leader. And this leader was in a bad situation. This leader was, uh, someone was looking to kill the leader and he took refuge in the enemy's camp. His mind to get out of that situation and he found himself in a cave. He was literally between a rock and a hard place. People came to join him in this cave, and uh, you would think he would have other things on his mind, but the first thing that came to his mind uh, is what I like to call this new season that we're in. You see, it's time out for us to pump and prime you. Uh, it's time out for us to have calisthenics. I think in the borough of Brooklyn, it may have been Queens, it was a guy called an MC. He would say things like, throw your hands in the air, and without thought, people would do what the MC said not because they wanted to, but because he said so. He said, wave them like you just don't care. And they would wave their hands because they just didn't care because they were being led by the MC. But this leader that's in the cave wasn't led by the crowd that was with him. He wasn't led or uh, felt the emotions that he was going through. The first thing that he said, it is noted I believe is in Psalms 34, he says, I will bless the Lord. So we got a few people that doesn't understand what that means. He says, even though I'm in a situation between a rock and a hard place, I don't need no one to tell me when to lift my hands. I don't need no one when to tell me to lift my voice. I don't care who's with me. We don't have to praise God. He says, you know what? Y'all may be in here with me, but I will bless the Lord at all times. Oh, the temperature's getting raised here. And then he goes to say that his praise shall continually be in my mouth. That means I don't care what's going on. I don't care what you say about me. I don't care what the outcome's going to be. I'm going to give God praise no matter what. I need Pilgrim Assemblies International in this 32nd year of Holy Convocation to say no matter what, I will bless the Lord. I don't need a cheerleader. I don't need a praise leader. All I need is to think about the goodness of Jesus Christ and all that he's done for me. I need someone to say, I'll bless the Lord. Notice the second thing he says. He says, his praise shall continually be in my heart. That's not what it said, Archbishop. I'm sorry, I'm a little sleepy. But I thought he said, the praise shall continually be in my what? 
I think the I think the bishop said earlier that or was that yesterday that this praise needs to be local needs to be vocal rather his praise needs to be continually that's perpetually that's ongoing in my mouth that's I need someone to make a prophetic declaration I think there's a prophetic night for pilgrim assemblies uh, that it's too late uh, that this praise is to let the hell know to let the enemy know to let my haters know to let my circumstances know to let my situations know uh, it's too late. You should have stopped me in my city. You should have let me get on the plane, the train, or in the automobile because I made it to holy convocation and it's too late. It's time for me to go beyond. It's time for me to get my breakthrough because I will bless the Lord. Come on now, let me hear what praise sounds like in your mouth, pilgrim. I think we're ready for what God is going to do. I want to bring to the pulpit, to the stage, uh, for our invocation, Pastor Matthew Blumenberg. Following him will be our own Pastor Kyrie Creighton with the scripture, and then following that, we will have Pastor Philip Kelly with the welcome. Please, come on, stand to your feet. Give God some praise as they come. Come on, somebody open up your mouth and give God some praise in this place. Come on, pilgrim, open up your mouth and lift up your voices and give God a praise. Come on, shake the roof off this place. Hallelujah. Come on, look at somebody down your row and say, there's a miracle on my row. And if you keep bothering me, I'll tear this whole row up. Because when I go home, I need something to be different than how I left it. So, Father, we give you glory. Father, we say thank you. Father, we honor you. We say it's by your grace and mercy that we are not consumed. Father, we have entered into your presence. Hallelujah. As your sons and your daughters looking for you to move by your power. Father, we decree and declare that there's a miracle on the road. Father, we decree and declare that there's fire in the room. Oh, God, permeate this place. Overwhelming, consuming fire. We decree and declare that tonight we're going higher. Because you said in your word that those that are sent to the hills of the Lord, they must have clean hands and a pure heart. So, Father, on tonight, we clean our hands so that we can ascend to the hills of the Lord. I decree and declare that every person that's breathing is going to the next level. I decree that every person that's breathing, God is shifting the very trajectory of their life. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that tonight will be a night of miracles, signs, wonders, miracles, signs, wonders, miracles, signs, wonders, in the name of Jesus. And it's already done. You ought to clap your hands, open up your mouth, and say it's already done because of the finished work of the cross over 2,000 years ago. It's already done in Jesus' name. Hey! Reading from Psalms chapter 24, the Bible says, The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend unto the heel of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. Who hath not lifted up his soul and vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and the righteous from righteousness from the God of his salvation. And this is a generation of them that will seek him, that will seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, all ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, all ye gates, and even lift up the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, give an honor to the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God. Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Bishop, Archbishop William Hudson III and to the first and second assistant and to the general board and to each and every one. To those of you that are streaming, we welcome you to the 32nd Pilgrim Assemblies International Convocation. Can everyone that's standing here give the Lord a praise? Let everyone see you for the glory that has been revealed, the double portion that has been revealed for us today. We welcome you. Come on, pilgrim, let's clap our hands and give God the glory. Oh, come on, let's do better than that. Let's give God the honor. Let's give God the praise. I'm waiting on you on this side. Let's give God the glory. Let's give God the honor. And let's give God the praise. I don't see nobody clapping in the back. Let's give God the honor. Let's give God the glory. And let's give God the praise. Now let me hear a pilgrim praise hit this house. Come on, send it up. Oh, come on, that sounds weak to me. Come on, send it up, musicians. Come on, help me send it up. Open your mouth and reach down in your belly. And let's give God the praise that is to his name. I was glad when they said unto me, Come, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We're moving. But I want you to help me celebrate excellent leadership. Help me thank God for Archbishop William Hudson III. Everybody that can't stand should stand. And help me celebrate this great and wonderful leader. And we honor our first and second assistant and executive board and all, and all that hold offices in this great church. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I stand today on the behalf of Archbishop William Hudson III to acknowledge some 28 new pastors that have come into pilgrim assemblies since our last holy gathering can we clap our hands and thank god for growth for where there is growth surely there is life so we ask that as i call your name that you would come to the front and line up across the front of this altar we're going to ask that the adjutants would assist us with preparing to receive these new pastors and bishops and two Pilgrim Assemblies International. Bishop Brian Allen, Sun Valley Church, Phoenix, Arizona. Come on, and if you're here, make noise for your leader. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor Stefan Allen, Greater Bible Way Church, Juliet, Illinois. Pastor Jermaine Anderson, People's Baptist Church, Oakland, California. Pastor Charles Campbell, Greater Hope Missionary Baptist Church, Burlington, Iowa. Pastor J.C. Campbell, Greater Hope Christian Church of Evansville, Indiana. Pastor Desmond Cheatham, New Destiny Church. Come on, keep it clap, clap up, clap up. Pastor Jeremy Collier, The Refreshed Church, Chicago. Pastor Stephen Cross, The Empowerment Church of Dallas, Texas. Pastor Leonard Corley, Christ Nation Church, New York, New York. Pastor Melanie Durham, Water Walkers Church, Chicago. Pastor Cecilia Lott, Eaton, Kingdom Ministries Church. Pastor Rolis A. Fraser Jr., St. John Baptist Church. Episcopal Vicar Carlton, Carlton Thunderbird, Church at the Well. Pastor Demetrius Gray, New Deliverance Church. Pastor Arlington Bruce Hayes, Mount Vernon Missionary Baptist Church. Pastor Austin Hill, Empowerment Christian Ministries. Pastor Jonathan Kinney, The Hope Church. Pastor Christopher Kennard, Miracles, Signs and Wonders, Apostolic Ministries. Pastor Roy Marshall, The Lighthouse for Gospel Life, Christian Center. Bishop Dora McCrory, Impact Empowerment Church. Pastor Louis Montgomery, New Bethlehem Missionary Baptist Church. Pastor Chris Murray, New St. Paul Baptist Church. Pastor Frederick Newell, The Purpose Place. Pastor Jonathan Phillips, United Baptist Church. Pastor Perry Sherrill of Nashville, Tennessee. Pastor Calvin Sneed, Life Support Church. 
Pastor Rohamed Sims, the Manor Church, and Pastor Anthony Wright, the God Experience Ministries. Clap your hands and our bishop is coming with a new announcement. certificate of induction the elders which are among you I exhort to whom as an elder and witness of the suffering of Christ and the partakers of his glory that shall be revealed feed the flock of God which is among you in the name of God our man be it known to all here present that Archbishop William Hudson III and the executive board of Pilgrim Assemblies International Incorporated rightfully and induct our beloved in Christ Jesus Pastor Perry Shirell having this is what they will all receive having submitted to the authority of Archbishop William Hudson III as their spiritual covering that these before you are hereby inducted as an affiliate of Pilgrim Assemblies International this 21st day of July in the year of our Lord 2022 and your Domini Archbishop William Hudson III presiding, Bishop, Bishop Charles McLean Jr., General Secretary. Come on, help me praise God for these that are here. Glory to God. Come on, Pilgrim, let's make some noise as we celebrate these new leaders in Pilgrim Assemblies. Normally, I wouldn't be here to stand on this mic, but I want to stand and celebrate Jesus. Because for the first time ever, Pilgrim Assemblies, we are receiving apostles. Where is clap your hands? I said clap your hands and give him praise. That means we're receiving the apostolic anointing. Oh, glory to God. That's why I won't take the mic because I'm happy. I need somebody in Pilgrim to open up your mouth and say we believe in the apostolic. We receive the apostolic. We receive the weight, the rank, the power. Hallelujah. Thank God for prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists. And we receive apostles. So make some noise for Apostle Al Burnham, the Greater Works Church, Moline, Illinois. Apostle D. Sherrod Jones, Judah Multicultural Church, Province, Rhode Island. Yo! Apostle Robert Sams, the Oasis Church, Chicago, Illinois. And Apostle Kevin Cunningham, the Transformation Center, Chicago. Come on, Pilgrim. We are excited. For what God is doing, come on and make some noise and give God praise. And Father, we bless every one of these leaders. We connect them to the house. We connect them. God, let us be on one accord. Give them an assignment. Use them in pilgrim. Let their churches grow. Let the favor of God rest upon them. We thank you for doing something new. We thank you for doing something fresh. In the name of Jesus, that after tonight, every church shall be shifted. That after tonight, the anointing shall increase. That after tonight, your glory shall be revealed. And we give you praise. Come on, let's thank God for what he's doing. Come on, thank God. There are 32 new pastors. I don't hear you. I forgot my pastor all the way from Colorado, Apostle Ryan Fontenot. Come on. So Fontenot, this is his second year with us. That's why I didn't call him. But I need to call on all the apostles. Amen. Praise the Lord. That, hallelujah. All right, God bless you. Who I get? Pastor Matthew Bloomingberg. Oh, my God. I can't forget you. Where you at? If I for, clap y'all hands, this whole church is here. Thank you. Did I forget anybody else? It's a human mistake. Run up here and say, you forgot me. Please, don't wait to after church. Did I forget any pastor, any leader that is with us? We do apologize. Did I get everybody? 
Who joined? Okay. All right. Clap your hands. God bless you. You can be seated. Come on, choir. Take us up.
Can I give a witness? Won't he make a way out of no way? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will.
gets up this morning, he started us on our way. We're clothing in our right mind. We have been using the activities of my limbs. The Lord is blessing. The Lord is prospering. The Lord is making ways out of no way. Anybody grateful for what the Lord has done? Well, come on and put your hands together. is blessing us hallelujah I said the Lord is blessing us anybody blessed this evening anybody know that if it had not been for the Lord who was on your side hallelujah he woke us up this morning he started us on our way and we thank God for the blessing of the Lord hallelujah it wasn't my alarm clock that woke me up this morning but he woke me up this morning he started me on my way a lot of people set their alarm clock to wake them up this morning, but guess what? The alarm clock went over, guess what? They did not get up. But for those of us that know that the Lord has blessed us to see another day, we owe him a praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. It could have been another way. I said it could have been another way. But God with his good self, hallelujah. God with his great self, hallelujah. He looked beyond my faults. He saw and met my knees. Hallelujah. The Lord is blessing me. Hallelujah. He is. He is. He is. He is. And we thank God. We thank God. We honor the Lord tonight. Amen. For holy convocation. Hallelujah. Has the Lord been good to anybody? I said, has the Lord been good to anybody? Hallelujah. Well, we owe him a praise. We thank God for the opportunity that the Lord has allowed us to, to be in his house to magnify, to lift up, to extol his name. Amen. We are grateful for this 32nd holy convocation. Amen. Maybe he wasn't called on to read the scripture or, or lead a song, but guess what? You can participate in our expense offering. Amen. It's time to give in the house. I said it's time to give in the house. And the Bible said he loves. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Somebody that's happy and hilarious about giving. Amen. And how many know that Although Jesus Christ paid the price for our salvation ministry costs. Salvation is free, but guess what? To keep these lights on costs. Amen. Anybody went to the bathroom since you've been here? Wasn't the bathrooms clean? You had toilet tissue, soap to wash your hand, and a, and a hand towel in the bathroom? Amen. Ministry costs. costs and we want to help. Amen. Support Pilgrim Assemblies in our giving on tonight, amen, to keep the work of ministry to go and for excellence to, to, to be put forth, amen. It takes funds, amen. And I'm asking everyone to support us in our expense offering, amen. We can't go and say Jesus paid it all, amen. When it comes time to pay for the bills for this convocation, amen. We need some funds, amen. So I'm asking everyone that can and will to get a $40 offering, an expense offering, Amen. To help with the expenses of this holy convocation. And truly, God has been blessing us every night. God has been ministering unto us every day in the day sessions. Amen. The night sessions. God has been good. And you can't pay God for what he's done. Amen. But you can show your appreciation for what he has done. 
amen, in the life of Pilgrim Assemblies. And we thank God again for our presiding bishop, Archbishop William Hudson III, amen. Thank God for great leadership, for excellent leadership. Amen. So we want to lighten the load on tonight. Amen. So I want everyone to stand with that $40 gift. If you don't have $40, get $100. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to limit you. Amen. Maybe God spoke, told you to give something else. Amen. Amen. Give. Give. It's time to give. It's time to sow seed. And, and this is good ground. How many know that this is good ground? I'm asking everyone that can and will. We have a different platforms that you can use. We have, we have Cash App. We have Givelify. Text to give. Amen. We have different platforms that you can use. Those who are watching on Facebook, amen, YouTube, amen, come and be a part of what God is doing, amen. You can't outgive God. The more you give, amen, the more that you can expect God to do in and through your life. So I want everyone to come. I want you to be directed by the ushers. I know we have a, a, the camera in the middle, but I want everyone in the two, uh, the side aisles and side aisles on the left and right to uh, face each other. So everyone on the right, and the left, just face each other, come down this aisle, and then go back up the outside aisle, amen, back to your seats. But I want everyone to stand, amen, with something, amen, come with something, amen, come with a gift, and let's, amen, support what God is doing in our expense offering, amen. We have different platforms that you can use, amen, if you don't have, amen, cash, everything's in your cash app, amen. Let's release a seed and watch God, amen, bless us as he promised he would. Everyone coming, everyone coming at this time, starting in the back, the ushers, please direct them. Everyone coming on the left and the right and go back up the outside aisle, amen. Let's be a blessing, let's be a blessing, let's sow, let's sow tonight. Let's sow, I want everyone, everyone. I want everyone to move, even if you don't have an offering, amen, move by faith. Move by faith. Jesus. We call him Jesus. Jesus. Some 
God is exalted and the devil is defeated. Shout glory to God. Yeah, yeah. Clap your hands and give him glory. Let me hear the sound of your clap. Come on, pilgrim. Hey, you travel too far. You travel too long. You spend too much money. Not to get a breakthrough. Clap your hands and tell him, yeah. Yes, yes, Lord. Hallelujah to Jesus. Clap your hands and bless him. Y'all can be seated for two minutes. Woo! Glory! Glory! Glory to God. My soul loves you. My soul praise you. My soul magnifies you. If he healed you this year, praise him. If he healed you. We gonna do this all night. Praise him. Let's praise him all night. Hey! Let's praise him all night. Hallelujah. is here. Wave at somebody and say the breaker is here. He comes to break off you. Every chain. Hey! Every battle. Every limit. The breaker is here. The breaker is here. The breaker is here. The breaker is here. Break, break. Break, break. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm echoing now. It was perfect. Glory to God. I want to thank God for all of these mighty men and women of God who are here with us on tonight. Can you clap for Pastor William Allen III, all the way from Maryland? Pastor Anthony Bates, all the way from Garland, Texas. Come on, Pastor Campbell from London, England. Come on. I met him earlier today all the way from London, England. Pastor Corez McNeil from Brooklyn, New York. Amen. And this is my special guest tonight, all the way from Chicago, Illinois, the pastor of the Freedom Temple Church of God in Christ, the one and only Pastor Jamel Evans. Y'all make some noise. I can't hear y'all. This is the church that we use in Chicago for Holy Convocation. And we were there for two years. And he told me last year, he said, I'm coming to New York. I thought he was lying, you know, because pastors be saying stuff. Amen. But um, he's here tonight. I love you, man. Clap your hands. He has been a blessing to my life. And I am so godly honored tonight that the Sons of Pilgrim Assemblies International are uh, in this place on tonight. Once pilgrim, always pilgrim. I don't hear y'all. The one and only Archbishop Michael E. Turpin is in the house. Come on.
He's still in Pilgrim. He ain't never left. He's still with us. Y'all make some noise. We love Archbishop Michael Turpin. Yes, yes, yeah. We love you. Archbishop, the one who taught all of us how to preach. We all stole his sermons. And when I hear him preach it, I thought he stole it from me, but I got it from him. He's our teacher. He's masterful. He's a father. We honor him. We love him. Archbishop Robert Rochford. Come on. His lovely wife, Lady Rochford. I need y'all to make some noise. This is our Archbishop. We love him. We honor him. And to the youngest son of Pilgrim, they all Pilgrim. I just ignore them. They all Pilgrim for life. Wherever they go, they're Pilgrim. Amen. Soon to be Apostle. Apostle, the prophet, y'all know him. The one and only Apostle Jarrell Solomon. Stand up in that green coat. We can't see you. You didn't get that sharp so we can't see you. Let us look at you. White buttons. Make some noise for the apostle. Y'all don't know when to get happy. What a rich presence of God and a rich presence of leadership that is in this house on tonight. I am so honored. I am so honored. This is God's anointed. God's vessel. He's a preacher. He's a teacher. He's a prophet. He's an apostle. He flows in all five-fold ministry gifts, and I'm honored that he's my friend and that he put pilgrim assemblies in his schedule. And every word that you've spoken in our house has come to pass. I want you to know that I believe in you. I believe in the gift that God has given you. There was a young girl in my church, and he didn't know her, but I, you know the pastor, you know everybody's business, right? And um, she didn't have no kids and couldn't have no kids. And he looked at her and her husband, I need you to stay anointed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. What was I saying? I'm sorry. Um, yeah, couldn't have no kids. And he went to her and he called her husband and prayed for them and said, y'all going to have two kids, a girl and a boy. And I said, oh, Lord, he's off today. Help us, Jesus. I was, he caught it up about shut up. Help us, Lord. Huh? <laughs> but how many know when God speaks, the word doesn't look like your current situation? But by faith, God knows he can do anything. I want you to know her and her husband gave birth to a baby boy. His name is Judah. Y'all. name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous make me a little full up here. Run into it and they are safe. I'm trying to let y'all calm down because I'm catching my breath too. Not that I want to rename people but in all honor and respect there's a few people I need to give honor to myself. Is that okay, preachers? I, I knew y'all gonna get quiet after the music stopped because this is New York. And I'm from here, born and raised, not too far, um, Brownsville, Brooklyn, 267 Osborne Street between Blake and Rockaway, apartment 6F. I went to PS 125. Um, my baloney had a first name. I learned how to spell baloney from listening to that commercial. Because Oscar Mayer had a way with B O L O G N A. I'm from food stamps. Am I the only one? Somebody talked to me. Identify yourselves. I'm from food stamps. Green, purple, yellow money. 
I'm from having to put Kool-Aid in a plastic cup and put it up in the freezer. Y'all don't want to talk to me, but it's okay. Put it in your ice tray. Eat it with your fingers and mess yourself up. See, a lot of folks stuck on titles, but I want to know your history. How do you get the top title and never served at the bottom of the ladder? I'm from Sugar in Spaghetti, Franco-American, uh-oh, spaghetti -os. If I name something and you're not tired, will you stand if you're part of that when I name it? I'm, I'm from Grilled Cheese Sandwiches, and um, y'all sit down quick. And the most dangerous thing in Brownsville is having to get a newspaper or grocery bag to light the pilot. Lord, my cuz done walked in here. Hey, James, you had to light the pilot and back up off it. See, I'm taking this route because we got a new group of preachers coming up that are entitled that have never had to come through this process. We would take that government cheese. See, y'all set me up. I'm not gonna get up here and yell and y'all done had Tutman, Gilead, Latrice, I'm not dumb. I'm from King's Temple Church of God in Christ, 102 Laurel Avenue in Hempstead, New York. And I know Bishop Jacobs did it, but we'll talk after this. If you overcook that grilled cheese sandwich, you don't get a second sandwich. I'm going to see how old you are. Your parents got that butter knife. Y'all, and you scraped all that black stuff off. But you weren't going to have a second chance at two more slices of bread. The reason why I brought some of this up is I was in the office upstairs and y'all treated me so well. I've been in a different state every day, tomorrow, Texas, yesterday, St. Louis, and my throat and everything. It's just crazy. Thank you, that sounds like the Bronx, but let me say this. 1403, that's my church. And I, um, I, think the, I think what's missing, Bishop, I'll talk to you, is the new generation may not see this and they'll get mad, but they know me and they know I love them. They have changed how church is because they're worshiping worship. I thought my senior brothers would talk to me. They need a certain atmosphere. This generation don't even know how to testify. Ain't no devotional service because they're worshiping worship. That's why, Dr. Crow, when it's time for the word of God, a certain group goes into a coma. But everybody says, I feel a hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Because some great things are going to happen within the next hour. But, but, but we have to give the worship back to God. Not to his competitor. Which is worship. Let's see if you'll help me with this. Back in the day... There was no music playing. We needed a miracle. The bishop pastors would stand up and don't do it yet. They would say, clap your hands fast and tell God thank you. That was the... Have y'all ever done that, preachers? Or did your pastors do it? They would say, clap your hands. Don't stop and tell God thank you. And while we were thanking God in advance, blind eyes were opening and deaf ears was unstopping. See, you didn't clap on that. You know why? You ain't seen it in a while. It is crazy that we abide by the rules of COVID more, more than the rules of the covenant.
But I told people, yes, I wear masks. I'm fully vaccinated, boosted twice. I, I just did it because it's common sense. If you can take a Tylenol, the ibuprofen 800, if you can do all that, you can just do that. But at the end of the day, it's the blood of Jesus that covers. But there are miracles needed in here tonight. And I'm going to ask 10 of you and all of you, but 10 of you get loud. I just want you in advance to clap your hands fast and tell God thank you. No music. Don't stop. If you can breathe through it, you can praise through it. Just tell God thank you. All right, be seated. On that note, where is Ken Chambers? That's you? I want to say something to you. See, other people's gifts work because they are in Tennessee. It's, it's, it's about three acres of land. It's not fully available. You thanked him for the building you're in, but God said that's a pit stop. The Lord said you put a lot of money in there too, thinking that's where you're going to be for a while. But the Lord said, tell you not so. Y'all quiet over there too? Because somebody should be talking because you need a building in this section too. But what I'm trying to tell you, see, because we speak to one don't mean God's not speaking to others. Y'all hush your mouth. That's why the Bible says that when one gets the bread, others need to stay for the crumbs. All right. So when you dance, we'll clap old school for you or the, or the drummer put a beat on his foot. I just want you to dance. I don't care if it's for 10 seconds. When you get home, start driving through the community. It's going to be borderline another city slash Nashville. It's going to be like a borderline. So you can call it one city or Nashville so that they don't argue with you about not being in Nashville. All right. So the Lord said, tell him, I've been holding this thing for over five years. So. All right, that's it. But we got to move quickly. So we're going to clap out. No, 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 no. I meant that y'all be seated because now you're about to worship worship. No, no, you got to follow where I'm going. Don't get offended. You have to understand what God is saying. If God is speaking, then we don't pass praise and stop him from speaking. You got to want his voice more than you want his sound. Yes, Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You said that's good. That was you. Stand up. Where's your wife? What's her name? Shante, where are you? I'm going to have you do a little dance when the music play again. It's not that y'all actually need a building, but the Lord said, I want to give you a block. And what's bad is some of the people you serve with talk about you behind your back. And they're in here tonight. I don't need it. Thank you. It frustrates you, but you're a prophet. It frustrates me, the God in me, that they're smiling at you, talking about you behind your back. But the Lord said, when your wife prays and you praise, he will lift all the burdens and then give you a block. Something about the mayor. You need to get close to someone in politics. All right. Be seated. Deja, Deja, who's Deja? I'm looking for Deja, I'm looking for Deja. 
where y'all got to stop waving and start talking because I'm not looking for you. You don't want to identify yourself. I'm looking for Deja. There's two of them. I'm looking for the Deja with three children. And if you stay back there one more minute, I'm going to just move on to the next person. This is the price is right. You're supposed to come on down. How are you? See, they say it's all right to take down the mask when you're eating. You see, we eat the word of God, we keep it on. We go to the restaurant, we take it off. I see two in one, two in one, two of one sex, one of the other. How many children you have? How many girls? One. This particular baby girl has been chosen of God. Now you picked me up from the airport, so why are you screaming? Oh, that's your wife. Oh, you owe me, doc. I want you to take the baby girl when y'all get back wherever you're from and go see another new house. The child that should not have been was. Y'all with me up here, preachers? Because it gets stronger when preachers talk. Hallelujah. It gets, it gets stronger when preachers talk. And preachers may not admit it, we need more help now than we've ever needed in our entire lives. Somebody shout glory to God. At the count of three, I'm gonna have somebody else dance because I gotta cut through, I got four more people. Stand up. Um, are, you, are you a new bishop? Yes? Put your mask down, let me see you. What's your name? Albert Simmons. Okay, you are looking at you like I should know you. Have we met? You sure? Oh, you saw me at his church, but we never like. All right. Um, God's about to increase your membership. You may have to have a meeting because certain people won't like decisions you would make if they have to change buildings. You cannot put a rot, you can't put a Rottweiler or a huge dog in a puppy uh, cage. It will stunt the growth of the dog. God said, tell him his dance is, how much of the city does he want? And if he wants to just stay where he is, not to dance. I'm not going to preach long. I'm going to take most of the time doing this. Then you can have it back. Be seated. No, they can still dance. That's not worship and worship. Worship and worship is when you need music. Worshiping God is when you continue when the music stops. Miss Beverly Woods, where you at, Miss Woods?
I have no idea who y'all talking about, but if y'all know, she's at the hotel with the kids. Is she watching? May I ask who you are? You are her pastor. So you know her. She's what? Oh, she's keeping your kids. All right. Um, well, if she's keeping your kids, then you can give her this prophecy. Man, I like him. He said, catch this on recording. Let's roll. <laughs> Iowa? Iowa? Where are you from? And where are you now? Oh, you're in Iowa. Don't help me. Come on, let's move quick. You're in Iowa. All right. I like him. D-A-V-E-N, like Davenport. Okay, talk to me. The quicker you talk, I can keep going, because when I'm wrong, I need to spin around and get it right. She is born somewhere in March, March 21st. If she is watching, she needs to hear me well. She's a member of your church, and because she's a member of your church, you need to remember this. You have one of the new multi-millionaire members of your church. Ain't no praise up here. Every pastor needs a multi-millionaire, tithe-paying member. I'll be right back with you. I went to a church... I won't tell the name of the church, and a Jewish rabbi, Rabbi Robert Shook, who wrote wonderful books, sent me to this particular church to preach for this black man. I went in there when I was young and a hooper like I am now, yelling, screaming like we grew up to have church, and uh, he told me, just teach on praise. He read my book. I taught on praise. They did a lot of writing. They didn't move. They then gave me my honorarium, put it in my pocket. I never looked at it till I got to the airport. I was more concerned about not getting the response and the results. And they all said, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. It's about 25 of them. So I called Rabbi Shook. I said, Rabbi. He said, yeah. I said, why would you send me to a church that don't do anything that I do? He said, no, I needed you to teach there. He said, they said they enjoyed you. I said, yeah. He said, did you look at your honorarium? I said, no. He said, look at it. So I went in my pocket, I pulled it out, and it was, it was healthy. <laughs> Y'all don't know what that is? I know by now we would all still be shouting and screaming. I get it. Healthy, right? And I asked him, why did they give me this much money? He said, you went to a church that only has millionaires. Mm. I said, can you get me back in there? I think I got something else I want to... What good is it having a church with 200 members that don't tithe, but God put one person in your ministry that's supposed to make sure your burdens are light? That's what you have in this Miss Woods. Miss Woods and you... A family, y'all will discuss a business because you're gonna. Oh, you're doing it. You, you, you met. No, talk. Good. I like talking. You're gonna need a bigger warehouse kind of building, a lot of computers, a lot of tools, because you're gonna be helping people um, that don't go to college still have college intellectualism and college power and authorities. Y'all are making businessmen and women out of people that were less fortunate. Um, what was your meeting about, in short? To come up with a plan to help those that are less fortunate. 
All right, that's summary. So she's not here. Oh, she's probably watching now. I could promise you. I just felt it come on, boom. You came here telling God in private, I hope I get what I need when I get there. It is funny that he makes her stay home to encourage you or the hotel. You're going to dance for her. What's funny is your dance is a little awkward. It is. And New York likes to make fun of people, but you're going to dance anyhow. Because you're going to be worth at least about 30 million, 35 million, 40 million. So at the count of three, for one more time, y'all are going to clap for him. One, two, one. going to have a millionaire, several, but a particular one in your church. I don't know if she goes to your church. She's not a millionaire yet, but I'm about to speak it. This one is not expecting this, but um, last name sounds like London. Who is Latrice or Latricia London? Come out, come out wherever you are. Let me see the face of a multi-millionaire. Ikele Matosha Nahaya. I might as well do two at one time. Do you know her? Because I said the name, you looked over. It's hard for you to know all your members. You got two and three services. I watch y'all every Sunday. I watch both services on my way to church every single Sunday. Every Sunday. My musicians done change how they play from watching your church. I need to put somebody near her if she's here. Your last name is Kennard. It's like Kendra. She left to go where? Went back to Chicago. Um, her flight probably actually didn't take off yet. Um, Somebody text her. Who knows how to reach her? Good. Text her and tell her she's about to be a multimillionaire, but she's going to need a grant concerning children. She has a daycare. Okay. I need you to um, text her. Now, pastors who didn't believe, believe. Now, I feel pastors wanting a prophecy. Y'all ain't getting it. You took too long to believe. Mm -mm. Text her and tell her she's about to be extremely blessed with money and grants concerning children. Now, I want you to do something for me. Will you do it? You're going to make millions, but I need you to touch every camera a cameraman is holding right now. Start walking. That's one million, two million. Keep walking. See, y'all jealous. That's three million, four million. They think I'm glad. That's about five, six, seven million. We got one in the pulpit for you, baby. Better hurry and get up there. Whose church do you belong to? Bishop Simmons, where are you? 
Hey, you got a millionaire member. Have her sit at a table when you expand ministry and hear me. Let her do, if it makes sense, all of the digital creations. All of them. Uh-oh. What do you do for a living? Hold it, you do what? You build brands for people across the United States for a living. Oh, okay, Can, uh, do I have to pay, being that I'm prophesying? You have not because you ask now. I don't know what y'all talking about. When I sit with millionaires, I ask for stuff. I pay for the meal and then I ask for the deal. I sure do. I'm going to say something to you and I'm going to have you uh, dance just 10 seconds. You're going to be so wealthy, you're going to need a whole team. You're going to need a lot of stuff. That's why I made you really run to each camera. Because you're going to need to hire a lot of people. And they're going to have to understand your vision. Because you're prophetic. You're catching things that others can't catch. Uh-oh, there it goes. Have you ever been into politics at all? You have? In college. Yeah, because um, you're about to make multiple streams of income. You're going to sit with senators. Hatamahashi and the now, I know most first ladies don't move, but I wish my mama was here so she can show y'all something. Because the way uh, ministries really get blessed, if you read the Bible, is when women dance. See how quiet it got? Not when they preach. They can preach, though. They can prophesy. They can be bishop. But when women dance, things that hide behind bushes come out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her some help. Sister London, when she dances, any woman that dances, whatever is hiding will come out. Now, all of you don't have to, especially if you don't have a need of something or you're still looking for something that you can't find because it's hiding because you won't dance. When you do this Yep, there he goes. Somebody shout glory to God. Hopefully online or in-house, there's a Maureen Brown. If you're in this place, run down here. If not, uh, tap somebody. That's your member? That's your member, Bishop? That's your millionaire member, Bishop? Now, ask me how. Somebody in football. Her son? Okay, that's how you're getting your tithes from a millionaire. Now, what I'm going to do, right? I'm only going to read my scriptures and we going because I didn't did my part. See, y'all thought I was going to try to be like them other guys. We out of here. But at the count of three, when these women dance, all the other women that dance, anything that is of value that's been resisting you or hiding from you, God says by August the 3rd, write the date down. Things are going to start coming. Didn't I tell you in the office, I might as well announce it to your church, that God's about to give you a huge piece of property. It's huge. When I use the word huge, don't think about four, four buildings on a block. That's not huge. God says they're building something in Chicago 
it's condos and everything, they're doing what they're doing on purpose to move people from one side of town to another. The mistake that they're going to make is God is going to give the governor a dream and make the shady deals turn for your good. I told my seat cap. Uh oh, hallelujah. Wait a minute. Glory to God. They're going to give you a property smack dab in the heart of rich people. Because God says, Thou have served well in the hood. But now your latter days shall be greater than your beginnings. Lekuna Mahasatanaya. You're going to need to find you a physician or a licensed doctor or somebody because on that property there has to be a medical center. This is how all of your money is going to stay legit. Because a church with your membership should not be bringing in uh, the amount of money I see a year. But if it has a business on it, and you are making them pay for the lease of your property. Y'all still ain't talking, huh? This is huge. This is a huge transaction. So at the count of three, Sister London, Sister Brown, they're going to dance and any woman or man that wants to, but the women that dance by August the 3rd, now, musicians, this is where y'all can give it all you got because you got two minutes. So that means every 30 seconds, change the flow, do something. I used to play, I don't play no more. But y'all give it to them. Here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, go!
track down. Do me a favor. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, will you do me one favor? Help me become debt free. Not by giving, but by dancing. Tell them as you dance with me, the bills are being deleted right now. You got 30 seconds to do that, and I mean it. Drum beat, no strings. Make a joyful. Be seated just for 20 minutes. I'm closing, no, I'm closing with reading a scripture. Hallelujah. 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 Now you're worshiping God because his train fills the temple. Everything's legal except music. That's legal. Some of y'all are like one real praise away from getting everything you asked, but you still stuck in a church mode. You got to be in a mode of desperation. My great grandmother would say, while you're trying to figure it out, I know it's old, y'all. It's cliche, but it's real. Just look at your neighbor and tell him it's already done. Mean it when you say it, because you're speaking life into someone. It's already done. Hallelujah.
Lekona Mahasan Dalamaye. Hallelujah. You feel in his presence. You must shanda man so ye man siya. Yes, Lord. Don't fan them, let them stay with God. All that's legal. When I grew up, they didn't cut that out. They said, go ahead, baby. Then the mothers put a circle around you and kept on making it worse. Tell him thank you. That's how I got saved. He's on the main line. You don't need a prophecy now. You can just tell him what you want. Tell him if it's a job, if it's automobile, if it's debts paid, if it's a court case, just tell him what you want. He said, ask anything in my name. I'll give it to you. I don't want to mess up holy convocation. No, when I say that by not reading a scripture at least so that people say all he did was prophesy. But when I grew up, they would say the Lord is in his holy temple. Come, come, talk to me. Let all the earth keep silent. I want to read a familiar passage. Bishop Jacobs just pushed me in 10 minutes. I've never done this before. Just push me because I'm done. And um, I want to give three points. I normally don't do that unless I go to a Baptist church. So I'm going to give three points. I'm going to ask the bishops to be kind to me and tell me preach even if I ain't preaching. That's what my father did when I did my trial sermon. He made me believe I was saying something. And now I can say it. But that day I wasn't saying a word. The scriptures found in the book of the gospel of Jesus that he allowed Matthew to write. You don't have to stand, just understand. I told you 10 minutes, so push me because I'm liable to yell in the middle of the reading. Chapter 14, verse 22 through 29. I'm already going to give you the topic in case I never get through the sermon. Would you look at your neighbor prophetically and say these words with power? Watch your step. Look at the same neighbor. Please help me and tell your neighbor your next step will count. The reason some of you right now are slow moving, this man is being kind to me. I may not even read it, because when I grew up and the Lord was moving like this, my pastor, the late Dr. Joseph Arnold King, would say words like this, read it when you get home. Oh, y'all don't remember that either? Because y'all used to say it too. So the chapter, Dr. Crow, is Matthew 14, verse 22 through 29. I'm going to read three verses. The verses I'm not going to read, you read when you get home. Can I get you to talk while I'm being Baptist? Especially in these front rows. And that is, we will no longer scream over Jesus walking on water. Looking for, why not? Because he's Jesus. That's nothing spectacular about God walking on water. What's more spectacular is he gave a woman a baby without a man. I still can't get talkers, huh? I'm on my time clock. What's more spectacular is he gave himself and put himself in the womb of a woman, then named himself. Y'all ain't happy. And then gave himself a name. I'm going to my room. That is above every name. Pray for your cousin. And, and at that name, 
Y'all still ain't that for Every knee shall bow. We better go back to preaching sermons with his name in it. I can't get no screamers. I'm tired of hearing six steps to being a millionaire, eight steps to keeping the marriage. How about the steps of a good man? That's Psalms 37 and 23. The steps of a good man. I'm about to yell. I got eight minutes. Are ordered by the Lord. Which then we can say for my 30 member church with loud mouths who will be debt free of millionaires like I will. Whatever you're going through right now, good or bad, that's the step God puts you in. And what you're in has no power because your next step is going to determine where you're going next. To get out of something, you have to first be in something. Maybe I should take a bypath. Y'all know where I'm reading, right? I may never get there. I told you. But hear ye me. The three Hebrew boys, Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they're thrown in the fire because they respect their employee and boss but they won't allow themselves to bow to another God. All right, be quiet, stay quiet. They won't allow them to bow to another God. Then the Bible says that somebody went to the king and said, your three homeboys who you actually like, they disrespect your order. You said they will be thrown in the fire. Now he did not want to throw them in there, but he kept his word because other people got in his ear. Some of you are in what you're in because other people got involved. Oh, y'all hear me? And spoke to the powers that be to make you pay for something you actually did not do. Talk to me out there because they won't talk up here. They cut the fire up seven times hotter than what it should be. I should have let Bishop Rochford preach because he's the preacher. Seven times hotter than it should be. And then they thrust them in their bound hands and foot holes, repanty holes. They put material that should burn quickly. Some of you are already a miracle. Because what you're in should have killed you way before now. Come on, look at somebody. Make that your talking partner and tell them, but I am still here. And it's by the grace of God. If they didn't say it with power, leave them in the fire. Look at somebody else that looks a little jubilant and testify to your neighbor and tell them I'm still here. And it's by the grace of the almighty God. That ain't how we used to say it. We used to say nobody told me. Y'all finish it. That the road would be easy. But I don't believe. And that ain't how my great-grandmama said it. She said, some through the water. Y'all ain't talk. Some through the floods. Some through great trials. But all through the blood. One day when I was lost. I'm, I'm trying to get y'all to be nice to me. Jesus died upon the cross. I know it was the blood. Well, here's the math. Look at somebody and tell them, do the math. Do the math. No, look at them. Don't do the church thing. Really talk to them. Tell them, do the math. The king comes back. He opens the furnace. He said, did not I not put three men in the fire? But lo, I see four. He said, and the Ophanese, the fourth one looks like the Swiss share. Y'all help me preach it, will you? As we tarry over there. None other. He didn't put the first one in. So he said, I put three, but he saw four. He gave Jesus the fourth spot when he was the first spot. Now, here goes eisegetical preaching with a little hypothesis that allows us the freedom to imagine. And 10 of you should be able to start jumping because you are imagining that you're going to be a millionaire, but you don't have a plan. And sometimes, back in the old school in Brooklyn, when we had block parties, there was a song that says, it's just my imagination. Yeah, y'all act safe up here once again. Running away with me. And faith is nothing but an imagination playing with you. Because it shows you that it's bigger than what you expect. 
But here is what I want to say with the freedom of liberty for 30 folk to start clapping and jumping and being debt free. He didn't put the first one in. But if the first one was in there prior to the other three, then why was he in there? He was possibly, for screamers, holding a meeting with the flame and said, now I got three guys coming up in here. I don't hear nobody talking. And when they come up in here, don't you dare burn one of them. I want you to still be fire, but you will not burn. Y'all ain't talking. And some of you are in something at that, that should consume you. But what's mystifying your enemies is how are you unharmed in this particular situation? I need to quote a scripture about a man who had a church not too far from here named the late apostle Arturo Skinner. He was known for saying, no weapon. Oh, y'all, I, I know y'all don't know him. That was formed against me shall prosper. But it never said it wouldn't form. Every weapon gets the opportunity to form. The gun gets the power to shoot. The bullet gets the target to hit but not to kill. Y'all ain't talking. Y'all admit. And some of you, you have actually been hurt for real, but the issue is not hurt enough to die. The issue is the objective of the weapon was not to hurt you. It was to kill you. But God said every one of you that made him look good in your bad situation, by August the 3rd, I'm about to turn your life right side up. I still wish I had a church. I'm almost there. In about three minutes, nephew, put me in the key and let me get out of here. Here's my problem. They were in the fire. They come out. They feel no hurt. They get promoted. They were in the fire. They come out. They feel no hurt. They get promoted. They were in the fire. They feel no hurt. Y'all won't help me. Then they come out and they get promoted. You never come out of a thing and go back to doing what you do. Some of you don't even know when you come out of what you in God's gonna promote you He's gonna thrust you into something and you're gonna have the same testimony that everybody else has I don't know how this happened. All I know is God did it God is about to get in some of your lives. Can I change this and talk to three screamers? He's about to get on your boat now. I don't know whether you got a left. He's not gonna push himself on there You have to actually invite him That young man is gonna make me preach this is what the scriptures say. Let me just condense it, Bishop, because you've been kind to me. You're standing, you've been kind to me. That Matthew 14, we preach it so wrong that right now sounds wrong. Let me first say this from verse 24. If somebody just looks at it, I wish I had an old school person. I would be, read. Y'all know how they used to do that? Read. And somebody would read. Then, and, and then you would just go on and start talking. But y'all said that the disciples, please let me show you, and then you can high five me because you set me up and then we out of here. Y'all said that the disciples were in a storm. Y'all said that they, the storm, was against the disciples. They said it to me. I preached it 25 times, Bishop Turpin, because the way my ancestors preach it is the way I'm going to preach it. Whether they right or wrong, I obey them. But I went to school. Y'all ain't talking to me. And when I went to school, I had to zoom in on verse 24. I'm going to read verse 24, elaborate one more verse, and then holler, then we can go. But 10 of y'all got to catch this. It does not say they were in a storm can I show you what it says come here because people don't believe it I want you to just see it with me so that when I say it we don't change the Bible right it's called exegesis it's, it's letting the Bible talk for itself right it said but the shout now here is what I want to say and see if 10 of you will scream because you're learning points because we already had church it is not the disciples that's in the storm it's the ship Hold on, hold on, because you didn't scream loud enough, and I'm very disappointed in my New Yorkers that won't talk. But 50 of you catch this and scream up here. You are in something that's in the storm. The storm is after what's taking you to the other side. So a lot of you are being attacked because you help people all the time, and the devil is tired of your assistance.
You are not in the ship. You are the ship. If I had three things that I could talk about and on the third thing you could put me in the key, it would be ship, storms, and steps, right? Ship, storms, and steps. Y'all don't say it too fast. It might not come out right. Ship, storms, and steps. Will y'all say that to somebody? Ship, be real slow with the first word. Storms and steps. Put a P on there, go P, ship. Storms, steps. Let's talk about the ship. If the ship could talk, this is for 10 folk and one who will run because you want to be a millionaire and you ain't playing. The ship, if it could talk, would tell the disciples, y'all should trust what Jesus put you in. Some of y'all are members of churches that you don't trust. Following leaders you don't respect. Y'all quiet now. If God sent you to me, let me do my job. Y'all mighty quiet, y'all mighty quiet. I wish I had greater talkers. And you never leave a ministry that stuck by you in your storms. I'm trying to preach on y'all behalf, but y'all ain't friendly tonight. How do you leave where you got saved at? Where you got licensed at? Where you got Christian at? How you leave after you had a baby and we let you come back and play the organ again? How you leave after you've been married and we married you a second time? Negro, please, stay in the ship. Accept these. Abide in the ship. No one can be saved. Just look at somebody, shake them a little bit and tell them, stay right there. Now, come on, practice your hoop. Put a little sauce on your throat because I'm almost there and tell your neighbor, stay right there. Whatever key that is, that's why I'm, that is where I'm going. If the ship could talk, the ship would change the topic. This would be the subtopic of the sermon named by the ship. To the first 10 people, no music, who danced 10 seconds, your storms will be over. The ship would say this, I was built for this. When people build ships, they had storms in mind. Y'all ain't talking. When they built cruise ships, they had hurricane season in mind. Some of you don't know how to function because you're paying too much attention to the storm instead of trusting the ship. Come on, we're almost at Hoopville. I want you to put some sauce on your throat and tell your neighbor like you're on the same ship. Tell him everything will be all right. Now this time, shake him and act like it's your revival and say, did you hear what I said? I said everything will be all right. The ship would then say, I'm built for this. Some of you, what you're going through, you were built for it. That's why you're still effective while you're defective. All right, I'm going to leave. If you talk to me, I'll preach. If not, I'll go to the next thing. This is why people are jealous of you and you're still trying to figure out why. I know y'all don't believe what I'm going to say for screamers. The devil sees your future before you believe in it. And that's why he fights you so hard in the present. Now, the second thing and then the third thing is what about the storm? When I give this little quick teaching on the storm. I need somebody to touch me, talk to me, because I'm feeling a little sleepy. And that is, every storm is not to be rebuked. Oh 
When you have the Holy Ghost, can't get no talk, and you rebuking something that won't stop, maybe it's not supposed to. Y'all don't talk over here. Don't let your mask be your muzzle. Y'all don't talk over here. Yeah, y'all talk over here. This is not the same synonymous story of Jesus being on the ship in the hinder part sleep. Because if he's with you on the journey, I'm about to run. Then you get to wake him up and he gets to rebuke the stone. Because he's with you. But on this, in this text, he's not with them. He sent them ahead of him. I want to say this for two folk who are high five me. This storm is an employee. Just like COVID. Everybody done got quiet now. COVID is from hell. No, COVID ain't from hell. What starts off looking demonic, if you rebuke it and it doesn't go anywhere, spoke to the elements and the powers that be and said to the winds and the waves, y'all help me, I'm going to see who screams, you help me teach them that they can't get there without me. I, I don't want you to kill them or drown any of them. But I want you to get their attention. And I want you to slow them down until they can see me. Now, I thought y'all were going to high five me, but I guess we're too ecumenical and the presidium is too holy for uh, this type of altercation. But we in the hood, for real. Let me help y'all. The storm's job was to slow them down until Jesus caught up. Um, is this. You've got to learn how to walk through your storms. You cannot wait until the sun shines. You've got to take steps while it's thundering and lightning. Look at somebody and tell them, I'm not waiting till things clear up to go after what I need. I'm going after it now, and I'll have it by the 3rd of August. I know people think I'm kidding, but I'm going to keep throwing that out there. Because when a date was mentioned, all hell breaks loose to see if you trust God that you will make it to that date. I want you to tell somebody, I'm going to make it. Tell them August the 3rd. For the next three years will be a sunshiny day. But right now, I've got to make a step in the midst of a storm. He's walking. I'm closing. He's walking. And the storm will not cease for Jesus. Because it's working on his behalf. Jesus screams out to the people, be not afraid. Look at somebody and please tell them, don't be afraid. Now they're doing that church thing. They're talking to your neck. Find somebody that's been through a storm and make sure that's your partner for the next five minutes and tell them... Don't be afraid. Mm. He says, fear not because it is I. When he says that it is I, he is not just saying I'm Jesus. He's saying everything going on, I'm the cause. Oh, y'all need to. He didn't say Good things work for the good of them. He said, uh oh, I got Bishop Roxford talking. I'm about to leave. He said, all things, all things include the good and the bad. But you've got to understand 
what the Bible says when it says your ladder shall be greater than your beginnings. Ah, ha, ha, he. Yes, Lord, uh, every now and then you've got to stick by somebody that's going to tell you, hang on in there. Mm. I want you to lean on somebody next to you that's not jealous of your journey, who knows by the third you're going to be the most successful person in your family and tell your neighbor from now until August the 3rd, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise i'm leaving y'all shall continually be in my mouth grab somebody and tell your neighbor you're halfway there don't give up now if some of y'all were a part of the old school church you would be able to talk to another neighbor and you would quote the lyrics to a song get somebody around here and say neighbor here are some lyrics to an old song that should make your soul get happy and it's called I'm pressing on yes Lord touch me holy ghost uh, the upward way uh, new heights i'm gaining uh, i'm gaining every day no high no higher plane uh, that i have found uh, i would somebody would throw your head back uh, and say lord come on Zion. lord yeah, Lord, plant my feet. I wish I had a church here tonight. Lord, plant my feet. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. I'd find somebody now and say, Guess what, neighbor? You're about to make a good step in the right direction huh? and that is you're not gonna wait huh? until the battle is over huh? but you're gonna shout now huh? I know y'all waiting on the music it's coming in about 30 seconds huh? but I want you to shake somebody's hand huh? and shake it like God's glory is in it huh? and say oh Oh, 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 neighbor, oh, neighbor, I want to say congratulations on surviving the worst season of your life. I said, grab another neighbor hand and look them in the face and say, oh, neighbor. Congratulations, congratulations on surviving the worst season of your life. If the person is not happy, tell them walk the plank, man overboard. But if they're on your boat and you've been in the same situation, they ought to be praising God with you because the worst is over. I think I'm ready now. The worst is over. Hit me and get up out of there. And the best is yet to come. Y'all grab somebody's hand and look them in the face and say, don't worry about the storm you're experiencing. I heard the voice of Jesus saying unto me come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest I want you to get that neighbor cause you can't come out by yourself and say neighbor I'm breaking some rules tell him I know the prophet said we gotta wait till the 3rd of August but I need something by tomorrow morning. Is there anybody here that's willing to take a step before the date announced? 
we walk by faith and not by sight uh, lean on somebody else uh, and look them in the eye uh, i got to get out of here hudson i'm sorry yeah uh, and tag them and say guess what god told me to tell you that in 24 hours you're gonna get the first portion of your miracle but you gotta show god that you can praise him tonight Father, 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 I stretch, y'all ain't preaching with me now, my hands to thee, no other help I know, lean on somebody else and say, oh, oh, neighbor, What's wrong with you uh, that you can't praise him now? Don't wait on the car. Don't wait on marriage. Uh, but give him glory uh, right now. Uh, Cause God is about to take you a little higher. Say higher. a little fun and grab a name and shake them and tell them you will not be the only person tonight to make it to the other side tell them I was crying on this side but I'm a smile on the other I was sick on this side but I'm healed on the other I'm not going to wait I'm not going to wait until things change to give God glory but I I said I I I got three words that I want to say to you that if you receive it it will come to pass those three words are it is done I know you heard it before but I dropped by to tell you that living in love me Die in his sin. Bury the My sins far away. But rise. Hold someone's hand. That's it. I'm done. The stubborn siketaya. I got three more words I want you to say to your neighbor if you got enough wind to say it. If y'all got wind to say it, tell me. Because if you don't, we can stop right there. But if you can tell the neighbor three more words, get him by the hand. And say, neighbor, tell him I got three more words that I want to say to your spirit. And those three words are paid in full. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, pay. Yeah, paid in full. All right. You can save those chords for the young preachers. You can save all the minors and fives for the young preachers. I'm good. I'm good with that. Amahashianda. mother would say he's in the room. Some of you may not believe it, the Lord is standing right in front of you telling you, be not afraid. 
everything you're going through, I'm in it. I'm in control of it. I just wanted to slow you down so you would learn you can't make it without me. And once you bring me back into the equation, have a cosign of go! Look somebody and say go! go! Jesus said if you go, I'll go with you. Open up your mouth. I'll speak for you. Lord, if I go, tell me what to say. Because they won't believe in me. Look at me, we're closing. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know where that came from. Don't y'all forget the forefathers. Everybody, one good time. Oh, 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 oh. When we get to the last O, you gotta clap like you just bought a new home. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! Yeah! The water, the gust of wind. I'm closing, y'all look sad now. I'm going to my room. And look at me. It is not a miracle, I'm gonna see who jumps and screams, that Jesus walked on water, but it will be one when we do. Some people are gonna hate you because you're doing what you're not supposed to be able to do. But if God extended the invitation, hold that music. You, some of you are tired of being in the same situation. I don't need friends because we got problems in common. I need a friend that has a solution. I feel you, I'm broke too. I don't want a broke committee. I'm divorced, we are divorce ministry. I want somebody that survived the storm. Last but not least, you ready? That same story, let me show you. Come here. Because you say we friends. I used to watch you when you was a star on Amen. They don't know who you are, but you a star. That Mark 6, Mark chapter 6, verse 45 through 48, this is what it says, and we're closing. Straightway constrains his disciples, get into the ship, go to, go to the other side, to Bethsaida. Look at me. While he sent the crowds away, and when he had sent them away, he departed into a mountain to pray. Same story. Here's what's not written in Matthew. You ready? And when the evening was come, the ship was in the midst of the sea. We read that. And he alone on the land, 48, and saw them toiling and rowing, trying hard to get somewhere. The wind contrary. About the fourth watch of the night, he cometh unto them, walking on the sea, and the last part says, I'm closing, and would have passed them by, which meant he was never going to them. It got quiet now. What? Would have passed, this is where we're closing, look at me, would have what? Bishop Nelson, I love you. Would have what? Some of you think you're so important that he needs you, but I'm telling you, we're in a season where he's passing up on people. Yep. He's walking away from your ministry, your churches, your anointing, because you don't know how to properly handle storms. Here's where I'm closing prophetically. Would have passed him by. Why didn't he pass them by? My last comment, then let's exercise the principle. The reason why he didn't pass them by is one person on the boat cried out. If all of them would have stayed quiet and paralyzed, he would have passed them by. But somebody had nerve 
to open their mouth and call Jesus in the midst of a storm. Y'all ain't all you. All we have to do is go back to putting his name where it belongs. Where does it belong? Everywhere. Give him back his hand claps. Let them not clap longer for us than they do for him. Give it all back to him. Once we do, the blind will see. You don't believe we're close. The lame will walk. The dumb will speak. The dead will raise. We will, lose, we will lose no more leaders prematurely. I want to test you, my money came last. My brothers became famous, my friends, Stanley Brown, all of them on New Jack City, playing for everybody, and I'm stuck with a mic preaching to five people in a storefront church. My first car was a miracle. My first house, a miracle. My first major appointment preaching in a mega church was because they invited the white prophet hall, but they called me. Y'all laughing, huh? Look at Facebook. He on there right under me. Same criteria. And they asked me, how did I get there? I said, you called my number. It's funny how God can give somebody your number. I don't have no business cards. <laughs> I did not promote myself. I didn't market myself. I don't know how I got where I am today. If it had not been, for the Lord on my side, half of you will never tell it. Some of you up here are living in prophetic words that I spoke into your lives. Sometimes people forget because we get a little popular. But popularity will become a storm in the future. Because then you begin to compete with who gave you the power. When they picked me up from the airport, I was grabbing my bags. No, sir, grace and peace, let me grab it. I said, no, we can work together. They opened my door, Bishop will kill me. I said, open his door too. Oh, I gave the orders because I'm a bishop too. So I said, don't just open my door, open other guy's door. Then I took them to eat. Don't get on them. I said, I want to go to come cows. I want to go down on Myrtle Avenue. See, y'all don't know nothing about that because y'all ain't from here. And I told them tonight they need to take me to farmers in the deli market so I can get me a sandwich before I leave to catch my flight. If I stayed near the airport, I would have went to Rockaway Fish House. I tried to tell him. I'm from here. I feel the glory of God now I'm home. And I went and ordered both adjutants and me lunch, and it was like, I'll pay, and the guy pulled his money out. I, I didn't want him to, but he wouldn't let me. I wanted to show them that the road to the next level is leaders becoming servants. Regular people were not in the boat, it was the disciples. The storm is not after your membership. It's after you, because you're the ship. And God wants to see what we are made out of. And do we qualify to take them to the other side? Hiya! So we're gonna masiliku tamahaya. Let's stop fighting the young generation. They may not, not be very frank, they may not be as anointed as we are, even though they're more gifted, they may not have a close walk with God, even though they have antics that say they do. But what they have that God wants from them that we don't have is they're fearless. They have the part God needs now. I need someone who's not afraid. At 
the count of three, I want you to envision God seeing you in a storm and about to ignore you. And I want you to get his attention any way you choose. If you remain silent, you will be in the same boat for another year. But if imagination on Jesus about to walk past you, the song said, I'm crying, Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry. Come on, help me, saints, while on others, thou art calling Savior. At the count of three, and y'all can hold the music, do your chords, play your chords, but I want your mouths louder than the music if possible. If you do it from your heart, by tomorrow some of you will have the first part of what August the 3rd will complete. All I need is a piece of... On, just 30 more seconds he's turning around saying who is that calling my name who is that screaming to the top of their voice and not screaming for cars and marriages and money but they're just calling Jesus Dandan Siko Tubakaya Jesus Just 10 seconds he's there Jesus Jesus You're the best thing That has ever happened to us So many people doubt him But I can't live without him and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. That is why I love him so. He's so real. Hallelujah. He's so real. Bow your heads, close your eyes. Bishop, I'm going to need you tonight. Don't move. My father was one of the first black men partners on Wall Street to a Jewish firm. His name is Aaron Hall Jr. My daddy never went to college, started off as a messenger boy while we were living on Blake and Rockaway. My father worked for a firm called Benjamin Jacobson and Sons, which was later bought out by Goldman and Sachs. The late President Trump built my daddy's office and put a shower and a luxurious bathroom in his office. I have seen some things in my life, but all of my good days, y'all missed it, they outweigh my bad days. My father taught me this, when your credit's bad, when your name is ruined, the only way you can still qualify is you need collateral. All right, I'm prophesying and y'all missing it now. See, you don't even know what I'm doing. I'm literally prophesying. He said, Todd, save your money and one day your money will save you. So I've been preaching 38 years living by that principle. So I don't actually preach for money. You and I have never talked about money. Whoever invited me, we didn't talk about money. Money likes me because I don't chase it. I don't hear some people go straight from no job to being an apostle. I had a job. And I'm bragging about having a job. Flipping burgers better than flipping dope. I watched my brothers be the first New Jack singing group in the world. They're from here. One was a member of Bible Way. 
I watched my brother sing with Hezekiah Walker when they first started. Stanley, Bishop Walker, and Aaron started that choir together. People forget the history. Come on, tell it. Okay, my brother sang on the album, started doing that ooh-wee stuff, singing Hold On. I watched people go up to the top and then not have it. I watched me go halfway and still have it. Y'all miss where I'm going. The top is an illusion. You've got to thank God for where you are. And he'll help you maintain it. I don't hear nobody. I'm in a maintenance phase. I'm closing here. Then I'm going to challenge them and I need you. This is what the Lord showed me about the text. And if 10 people out of hundreds and thousands up in here, even online, if 10 people jump up and scream on this, you got it. You ready? The Lord told me I'm about to do for these people what I did for Peter. Ask me what? what? Now, I know I'm talking to the prelate, but we're friends. He said, I'm about to do for Peter, do for the people what I did for Peter. Ask me what? what? All right, one more time. I'm about to, man, I miss playing Skelly and Hopscotch and steal the bacon. Ringo Levio, Coco Levio, one, two, three. I, I, boy, I feel, see, you got to live here to understand what I'm talking about now. Hot peas and butter. <laughs> I'm having a flashback. <laughs> Red light, green light, one, two, see, y'all know what I, don't act like y'all don't remember. <laughs> you ready? What God's going to do for the people is what he did for Peter. Ask me what? what? When I say it, the 50 people got to catch it and scream. You ready? When Jesus said, come to me on the water, what he had to do for Peter is what he's going to do for the people, and that is he had to make his liquid solid. Mm. Are y'all slow? Or are y'all there? Half of your storm would be over if your liquid... You walk better on solid liquid. Water is volatile until God gets in it, breathes on it, takes on a different form. So the water let him walk because he had solid liquid. Now hold the hand of somebody who as of August the 3rd will have solid liquid. Y'all laughing, but I'm proof that it can happen. And I don't sell no product. I don't travel with no people. I'm, I'm proof that it works. Bishop, I want you to go stand right there. Right there. As a matter of fact, I'm coming with you. Nobody walked. I'm going to put everybody in the storm. You went? Uh-huh. Who told you about it? Me. And you went without me? Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Now, I want us to do this. We're taking this step during a financial storm. I don't want you to give it when the sun is shining on your money. I want you to give it while you don't know where the next money is coming from. I don't want nobody to move you, and I mean it. If you obey the man of God tonight and trust that I'm a man of integrity, between now and August the 3rd, you won't be talking about money because liquid is going to become... Solid. See, you that said it, listen, liquid is about to become what? Solid. I'm even going to ask the leaders if they choose, but I don't want nobody sitting the ways to give. I don't know how it is on the screen. If you put it up there, all of you that's going to give the 200, come down here at the altar right now. Don't give it yet, just stand here. I want to pray over you. I need at least 100 to 200 people coming right now in Jesus' name. Because this is a convocation. This is not a conference. This is not a revival. Now, any of you that feel pushed or bullied, don't give it. You're not cursed. You just have to finish your storm. I don't believe people should give out of fear. Play something nice. Y'all got all of them pro professionals over there.
waiting on 50 more people. Hurry, 49, 48, 47. I don't want to feel Kojic. No, no, I'm Kojic. We, you know, we do the table thing. We wait. Yeah, that's why we had a lot of money, because we wait. But I'm not going to scare you into giving. Touch somebody and tell them the storm is passing over. No, mean it when you talk to people. Stop doing the church thing. Learn to build a relationship. I'm happy for you. I'm serious. We'll see each other again, I promise you. I'm happy for you. Lift it in your right hand if you're able. Our Lord and our God, Jesus Christ, I need you to finally show your people that you're a God that keeps promises. When they release their funds, I want you to take the area that they're giving from and make it solid. I want them to spend money and still have the original money still in the bank. I want you to give them the oil of two fish and five loaves of bread. That every time they feed someone, they still have enough left for themselves. I bind poverty. I bind struggle. Lord, I even want you to fund some of their healthy addictions. Like going to the mall shoes fun the addiction but don't take the money now God I pray that tomorrow you give them a taste of it but between now and August you give them the rest of it in Jesus name come tap the altar in front of our bishop just tap the altar on the stair or wherever Lay it down. Y'all clap for these people that are. Hallelujah. Stay there, bitch. Credit card. And the credit card machine is to my left, your right. After you've tapped the altar. My life is a testimony. That sounds good. that are going to give you a hundred come up now you want to be debt free don't hold it come up and leave folk in the boat that they in time for you to get out that boat and trust God one good time watch yourself cameraman you got people coming behind you come to the altar you're giving your hundred come to the altar don't move yet let me pray over you come it is a test Come quickly. If you come slow, that means you don't want it. You don't want it. Only, only you. Lift it in your right hand, all of you. I want you to trust the God in me. Look at me, I'm not playing. I know what it is, I've been there. I've lived in my car. I've lived with people. There are times I doubted God and only once did I think about suicide. But if he did it for me, he will do it for you. 
trust me on this please do now father God we thank you you said the one that gave five talents you said they were faithful of a few things you said enter into the joy of thy Lord but these are the ones that gave two you did not change the reward you said you've been faithful over a few things. Behold, I shall make you rule over many. Enter into the joy of thy Lord. God, give them homes. Give them condos. Give them investments. Give them jobs. Blow on their careers. Stop divorces. Bless their children. Stop domestic violence. Stop confusion. This is just a... Whoa.